Hey guys, Tammy here. So today, I'm back out in Chapin Forest. This is in Kirtland, Ohio. Let's start that over again, shall we? Ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh. ow. Hey guys, it's Tammy and I'm back. I'm outside. It is cloudy and overcast. We're supposed to be getting rain soon. You may recognize this spot, you may not. This is one of my favorite places. It's Chapin Forest in Kirtland, Ohio, part of the Lake Metro Park system. I did my videos on my Low Pro Protactic bags in this pavilion here to my right, or your left, one or the other. And I decided today I was gonna do this out here while it was nice because it's a little dark underneath there. So today I'm coming at you of course, and I'm going to go over my final review and my final thoughts on the Atlas Athlete Bag. So let's get started. This is the Atlas Athlete. And I've had this bag for about two months. Ordered it back in, I think, the end of December, beginning of January. And then all weather hell broke loose here in Ohio, and I wasn't able to get out and play with it. But in the past few weeks, I've been able to get out, throw it in the mud, get it on the ground, pack it up, and use it extensively. And I'll tell you what, I love this bag. It is an awesome, awesome bag. Atlas really did an amazing job with their packs. And this sucker is packed to the hills. It is not light. It is a heavy bag because of my gear that's inside of it. In the winter time, I tend to carry a little bit more than I do in the spring and the summer. Oh, and by the way, happy Equinox. It is today, the first day of spring. And <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna go over this with you and show you what all I've got packed in here how I pack it and how you can pack it. Now there's one thing I want to say. I've had people ask me how the water bladder fits inside the bag. I have not used a water bladder in the side of this bag yet. Typically when I'm out in the winter time, I don't use a water bladder um, for various reasons. I typically just like to carry a bottle of water with me. Um, I don't go through as much water in the winter time as I would in the spring and the summer when it's hot and sticky outside. So I don't carry my two liter bladder with me. So I can't give you any on that just yet, but when I start to carry one, I'll let you guys know. So this is my bag. And as you can see, I have all my stuff already all over it. The front of the bag is, has been extremely muddy. Um, I set this down in the mud at Chair Factory Falls a couple weeks ago, and it was extremely muddy. Didn't realize that the spot I set it in was going to sink down, and all I had to do is once it dried, was do this. Now, it's still up here a little bit, and it's still down here a little bit, but you know what? I'm not worried about that. I'm not that picky about my bags. I don't care if they get dirty. I don't care if they get muddy. I'm not out here to impress anybody. So that's exactly why I like these bags. And I am hard on my bags. Um, I've never been sweet and nice with my camera bags. This is sweet. So these straps here on the front, these are mine. And let me talk to you really quick about the tripod system for this bag. Without these straps on here, there's only two places you can put a tripod actually technically one. It's right here on this side or the other side. I utilize both this side and the front. Now the little tripod that's holding up the vlogging camera right now is a Binro Slim carbon fiber. Uh, it weighs two pounds. It's very, very light. I love it. That goes on the front of here and I just strap it on with these two and it works perfectly. I have also used these straps for my large Binro tripod which is the FGP28C, which is their largest system go tripod. And it's a carbon fiber. It is very light, but it's tall and it's big. But it fits perfectly on here as well. And so does my smaller Benro here. 
So you can actually strap a tripod to the front of this, but you need to have your extra straps. Now these are extra straps that I bought years ago. I just use them over and over again. They're dirty, they're muddy, they're scratched. Um, it's, they're not hard to find. You can find them on Amazon, but that's what these are on here for. The front compartment of my bag holds my glasses because I'm blind. On the key ring part, <laughs> it holds my tripod tools, which is always falling apart. Leaves. Um, I'll put that back together later. And then also inside of here, I have flashlight, lens wipes, a lens pin, my Peak Design tool for the Peak Design thing. I also use it for my tripod as well if I can't get to this one quick enough. And that's what I have in the top compartment here. Sometimes I will also stick other things down inside of here, um, like if my watch battery dies or I have other things that I need to put down inside this pouch, I'll put in here. I do not put anything in here that people can get into and steal. I don't do that. That's very top. Let me take my tripod off. Now the tripod is just clipped in here and here and it just comes right out. We're just going to lay you over here. Now if you're curious about this tripod, this is also a Binro carbon fiber. It is the Adventure tripod. It's the TAD18C by Binro and I love this thing. I use this more than my large one. In the very top compartment up here, I have oh, memory card I just bought. I have my memory card holder by Think Tank. I have my filter kit, which is the Nissi V5 Pro holder, rings, and um, polarizer system. And then I use ice which is made by the same company that makes the Hata filters, Desmond Photographics. I use their 6-stop, 10-stop ND filter, and I also use their, pull their square polarizer. So that's in there. I have my camera remote. This is a pouch which will come out in spring that holds hand warmers and foot warmers. This is my battery backup. This is a battery charger. <coughs> Excuse me that I carry to charge my phone, my um, other batteries. I have three sizes of this. Um, I carry the small one in my camera bag. And I have my Zoom H1 recording system in case I don't want to do recording or something happens with my camera. Lens cloth, those are everywhere. And that's it. And I have all of this stuff inside this big pouch here on the front cover and I still have room to spare. There is still plenty of room in here to put something else or to put something in there that I need and it all just fits right back down in here perfectly. I don't have to mess with anything. I just put it in here. I just bought this for my GoPro and it zips right around. And that's all right just right here in, the, in this one little pocket area here. Now if you undo these two, that allows you to flip this back. Now, the cool thing about this bag is if this part's not too heavy, it will stand on its own, even with this flipped back. Now in the very back portion of this is another pocket. And in here, I have my cell phone and my car keys and my wallet. And I keep those in here because you can't reach underneath and get to them so that someone can steal them from you. There's also the attachment loops under here that you can attach something to if you need to. Um, I haven't. I've only used the attachment loops on the front, but you can. Now, on the front again is this big pocket here. Inside here, I have my thin gloves, my... Um, diffuser and that's it inside of here. In this pocket here I have my hat 
and I have cleaning cl or, um, microfiber cloths and lens cleaning cloths, extra ones, a buff, and a handkerchief. I'm not sure I understand. And Siri decides she wants to talk to me. I don't want to talk to you, Siri. And that's it inside of there. Now I carry a buff and I carry a, hanker a handkerchief um, because sometimes it's cold and really windy in places and I can put that buff around my neck and it helps ward off the, the air. Um, or I need to wipe down my camera after um, rain or whatever because my camera is water resistant. I can do that. In the side, I just have my water bottle. Now, I do have, this is just a little 24 ounce bottle. I do have a one liter bottle that fits perfectly in here and my two liter bottle, Nagaleen, fits perfect in this side pocket. And I have no issues carrying that whatsoever. That is awesome. Inside this bad boy, and let me show you, make sure that the sides are undone, how big this thing can get. Okay, that's pretty big. I mean, I've got room to spare in here. I have trail mix, bag of snacks and hot chocolate, my Petzl headlamp, which I need to charge. I have down in the front a toiletry bag, shovel, toilet paper, you know the usual. Ground cover by Mind Shift, which I use a lot. It's like the Mary Poppins bag. Now, down in the front side of here, on the front of your unit, your core unit here, this gray thing, is a laptop sleeve. Now, I need to tell you something about the laptop sleeve. The laptop sleeve will hold, in this bag, will hold up to a 15 inch laptop. However, the laptop that I use, I have two 15 inch laptops and a 13 inch MacBook. My old laptop will fit in here perfectly because it's nice and thin. My new laptop, which I use Premiere Pro on, I use Adobe Illustrator, I use the InDesign programs, all the stuff I went to school for, I needed a beefier computer to be able to run those Adobe programs. It will not fit in here. It is an Asus gaming system and it had all the specs that I needed to be able to run it, not have it bogged down, be slow as crap, and still have all the stuff. It's quite a thick laptop. It will squeeze in there, but barely. So if you have a thicker laptop, you may not be able to put that laptop in that sleeve, but I never carry a laptop in in my bags anyway, because I'm hard on my bags, I throw them on the ground, they fall over, I bump into trees, I bump into rocks, and I'll just break it. So I don't carry it, but what I use that sleeve for is my extra tool pouches. I have a think tank pouch with all of my tools in it. Small first aid kit. And that's all that's down inside of there. Now, the other thing that gets down inside of there, oh, hold on. Is if I'm not doing any work with my GoPro vlogging setup and I'm just using my G85, that slides down in there perfectly. There's plenty of room for all three of these down inside that little sleeve. So that fits down inside the front in the sleeve but still gives me all of this space here to be able to expand my bag and still have room. The expandability and the compression of this bag is amazing. I have never had a 40 liter bag this thin, this packed. And I haven't even gotten to the camera compartment yet. And <laughs> it's still be able to hold everything and still have room for anything else that I wanna put in here. It's, it amazes me just how much room this bag has. And the good thing about this laptop compartment is it is lined. It has a, it's not really, oh, there's another apartment there. It's not lined, or I mean, it's lined. It's, 
it's very well padded and it's lined so your laptop won't get scratched or beat to crap but yeah this is me we're talking about so I'll just put my stuff back down in there cinch it up flip it over and you clip it shut with these two clips on the side and voila now these side clips here are what cinch your bag and compress your bag so you can actually do these up and compress this bag really small Especially if you don't have anything in your side pockets. If you have anything in your side pockets, then it's going to have to fit over whatever you're trying to cinch down. So, I mean, look how thin that is. I've never seen a 40 liter bag from any manufacturer go this small. It, it, it just doesn't happen. So, let's get into the camera compartment. Now the camera compartment is 10 liters and it's designed for DSLRs, small DSLRs that do not have a grip. And it's also designed for mirrorless camera systems without a grip and lenses that are under 18 inch or 18, five inches long. So if you have, I'll show you how I have my 40 to 150 because it's bigger than five inches. You can't stand them up, you have to lay them down. But first, let's talk about this harness system. <laughs> now, out of every camera bag I have ever owned, the two most important things that I look for in a bag is shoulder straps, waist belt, and storage. Whether or not my gear will fit in here for what I need for what I'm going to do, the shoulder straps are comfortable, they don't pinch, they don't bind, they don't push in places they're not supposed to, and the waist belt does not fold or bend and holds the weight of the bag on my hips. This bag does exactly that. I have yet to find a bag that is, okay, I take that back. There's another bag I have that's very, very comfortable, but this one beats it by a tiny bit. This thing is extremely comfy, extremely adjustable, and there's really no way that you can get this bag, pack all your stuff in it, that you're gonna need for whatever you're gonna go for and not be able to adjust this to make it comfortable. I love the harness system on this pack. When I get this on, this pack probably weighs a good 40 pounds when it's fully loaded with tripod and everything. And I can't even tell that I have anything on once I get this pack on. Now, adjusting your shoulder straps with your, pull, your cinch pulls here, your waist also has pulls on it so that you can adjust it to you. Once you get that set, it's, it's like it's not even on you. It does not get hot. I don't sweat with this on. Now granted, it's still cold outside. So I've not really, I've done some sweating from walking long distances or walking really fast or trying to get back to my car before I get hammered with snow. But it's not like a drenching sweat. The ventilation on the back of this bag is really, really good. It provides really good airflow. The lumbar support on here is awesome. I've not used the little pouches here on the side yet. I will probably use those in the spring, uh, later this spring and in the summertime, a lot more than I do now. Because with gloves, getting things open and out and unzipped and folded is a pain. And my hands freeze as it is. But this harness system is extremely, extremely comfortable. And I will tell you, the first question I'm probably gonna get is from women how comfortable this bag is for a woman never had a more comfortable bag on ever this is a first this bag fits me as a large chested woman perfectly 
I don't feel anything, no pinching, no binding, no pushing, no pulling, no nothing. It fits very, very well. I am so happy with that. That was the one thing I was concerned about with this bag, but it is awesome. I've, I've not had any complaints with the harness system on this bag. Now the camera compartment on this bag is 10 liters and if you have a small mirrorless system it'll work perfect for you this is how I have mine set up right now is this I have my camera here my 75 to 300 my batteries for both this camera the film care the vlogging camera and my GoPro my uh, 12 to 40 millimeter lens this is a little packet of silicone that I got that is forever. My 40 to 150, my extension tubes, and a little vlogging light for if I'm out and I need to have some extra light. That all fits here. Now you can compartmentalize this however you want. This thing is set up however you want. And remember in my first video when I unboxed this, I said these will form to your gear. They do. It's amazing how this thing forms to the lenses and things that I have. And I can change this up however I want. The only complaint that I have about this is if I choose to take my Panasonic G85 with me, it will not fit in here if I have to pack it away. I have to put it into the front. That's the only complaint I have. If I reworked this and probably took the batteries out and put them somewhere else, um, typically don't carry my 75 to 300 as much, but I have been carrying it a lot more lately. I've been using it. Um, I could probably fit it in here. I have not had to yet. I set this up and just started using it. But this thing, I love it. And it works really, really well. There's a whole bunch of configurations you can do with it. I've got my books in here, my notepads. I've got my uh, inside of here. I've also got my straps for my crampons in here. I don't use those, although I probably should. I have my... Um, uh, shower caps in there. I have an extra divider if I needed it also in there. So you can fit a whole bunch of stuff. And inside the little pouch here, all I have in here is a cleaning cloth and the rings for my filter system. They fit right in there. This pouch expands. So you can expand that if you need to, but I wouldn't expand it too much because it might tear. But, I mean, you're going to expand it. That's just that's the way that it is. So I have cleaning cloths buried all over this bag, but this is how I have my bag set up and it works really, really well for me. You can set it up however you want. The only thing, like I said, is, is I wish I had enough room to be able to put my vlogging camera in here. Um, if I need to, I probably could work it around, but right now I just put something over it and I put it into the very front of my bag and it stays in there. Um, I just don't like having it in the front of my bag only because I'm afraid I'm going to bop into something and I'm going to pop the lens off or whatever. But that's the setup of my bag. Straightforward, very simple. Um, the equipment comes in and out fairly quickly and like I said you can set this up in any configuration that you want. The camera has to set in like this. It will not set like this. Um, it does not have the high sides if that's what you're looking for then you need to go up to the 70 liter bag which is higher this way um, and has more camera capacity but 70 liters for me is a lot um, I'm not sure I'm sticking this is gonna sound really really bad and please don't kill me for this people um, I love landscape photography don't get me wrong it's a lot of fun I've been having a blast but my heart is in macro, it always has been. And for some reason, I'm just feeling a draw or a pull back to my roots. And this bag will probably get reconfigured for that. But right now, my 60 millimeter macro is, I'm gonna shut this because it's starting to sprinkle. My 60 millimeter macro is at Olympus getting fixed. So we'll see what happens there. This is the Atlas Athlete. It is an amazing bag for the money. I highly, highly, highly recommend this bag to anyone looking for a bag that is com that you can do <laughs> all kinds of stuff with. 
a bag you can grow into and not have to invest in five million different bags like most of us do. Um, <clears throat> yeah, some of us have a little bit of an addiction problem. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> but you can't go wrong with this bag. I would definitely, if you're interested in a pack like this, I would definitely contact Atlas. Talk to Alan Harvey. He is amazing. Their customer service is amazing. He will help you figure out which pack works for you, what sizes that you need based on the system. The system goes by torso size. So your shoulder straps are by torso size and your waist strap is by your waist. This is an extra large on here and I have plenty more room to spare. Um, I could probably put this around and have room for three or four winter coats. And then um, your torso size goes regular and large. They end at 5'8". I'm 5'7 and 3 quarters and I chose the regular because I thought the large would be way too big for me and I'm correct. This fits me absolutely perfect. I may, may move to a large, maybe. <laughs> at some point later on down the line, but this actually right now is working perfect for me. I can't say enough about this bag. I really can't. Alan, if you're watching, this bag is amazing. I'm so glad I got this bag. It literally is the best bag that I have ever owned. I do have two other bags at home that I'm very partial to that I'm keeping, but the rest of my bags, my Lotus, um, my cashmere f-stop bags, some of my low pro bags, um, my maybe my Shimoda, I don't know, um, will definitely be going on eBay only because this bag is what I was looking for so I didn't have to every season, every time I want to go downtown and do street photography or I want to do landscape photography or macro photography or just go for a hike and carry something light and the rest of it be food, then I have this bag. So this is the Atlas Athlete. If you guys have any questions or you need to, you know, find out some information about the bag, please let me know in the comments below. You guys know, if you like this video, click the like button, subscribe, click the bell icon to get future videos because I've got a lot of stuff planned, particularly with my new vlogging setup. It's starting to rain, so I'm going to sign off and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.